Hey dolls, it's your girl Tiffany, makeup artist and beauty instructor. Um, I wanted to do a video today. Um, I saw the Jaclyn Hill Ride or Die uh, makeup tag, and I thought that, that was pretty cool. I um, am a makeup artist and a beauty instructor, so uh, I have a lot of products that I love, absolutely love. Uh, so this was a very, very hard video to do, but I am going to do the Jaclyn Hill Ride or Die tag video, and I am going to go over with my favorite products are for me to use um if you guys want to see my ride or die products for what i use in my professional kit then let me know but this is going to be my ride or die products for myself the okay, first thing i'm going to talk about is your skin you can't have a nice beautiful um makeup look without having nice skin or without without making sure that your skin is properly treated so my first two go-to products um, right or die products for me would have to be first what I cleanse my face with on a regular basis which is the Neutrogena oil free um, uh, acne wash or this is actually the scrub the daily scrub and what I like about this scrub is that you can use it every day it's gentle enough to where it's not like you know, most most scrubs you only can use once or twice um, a week well, this one you can use daily and you can use it twice. They recommend that you use it in the morning and in the evening. So this is another. This is one of the, one of our Ride or Die products. I absolutely have to have this product. Uh, I have very very oily skin, combination of skin. I'm uh, oily in my T zone and normal everywhere else. But what I just what I like about this is that it has salicylic acid in it, which helps to prevent any breakouts or things like that. Um, as well as it's not so harsh on my skin to where it doesn't mess it doesn't dry out the part of my uh, skin that is normal so this is my go-to ride or die i i use this on a regular basis pretty much every day sometimes twice a day and i like the fact that it's a scrub so that i can really you know deep cleanses my skin especially when i am wearing makeup for work or to do these videos whatever the case may be i am this really does cleanse my face very very well um my next product for my skin that I absolutely love is the um, Glam Glow. Now, I um, hear Jacqueline Hill talk about the Glam Glow collection all the time. Um, she raves and raves about it. So I decided to try it um, sometime last year. I can't remember what day, well, around what time it was. But I decided to actually try the Glam Glow. But I think I tried the Glam Glow um, anti-aging um, anti -aging little set. It was like the... The, the, the cleanser, the um, acne treatment, and then the mask. And so this is the uh, Youth Mud Tantalizing Exfoliating Treatment. I absolutely love, love, love this product. So what I typically will do is at least once a week, I will put this on my face as my mask. And then I also will use this as like a spot treatment. So if I have a pimple or I feel a breakout coming on or feel like a little area where it's starting to get raised, you know, like knowing that I'm going to have a breakout, I will go and I will use my Glam Glow um, mud mask. I also like their cleanser as well. I, I will use their, um, their the Youth Mud cleanser as well um, as like a gentle cleanser. If I didn't really use, do no putting makeup on my face that day, instead of using this, I will use that cleanser that goes along with this product. But um, I didn't get the cleanser. And then the other, I think, uh, acne treatment, I, I like this more than anything in that whole little set. So these two for my skin are like a must. Ride or die, have to have the Neutrogena Oil Free Acne Wash Scrub, and I have to have my Glam Glow Youth Mud. Does it think it's tantalizing? Whatever. This little treatment right here. <laughs> um, next is what I... Uh, used to prep my skin before I put on my foundation and what I use before I put on my foundation um, here as of lately is my Scandinavia oil control um, uh, setting spray um, primer spray and you know you know being the makeup artist like you you, you know the rules skin care primer foundation like you have to do all these steps to prep the face right I don't do that to my face. Um, you know, I would, I would, I would get a primer. I would use it for a little while and then stop. Get a primer, use it for a little while and stop. I'm not a primer girl. It drives me crazy sometimes. So 
having a spray that I can use as a primer is like golden for me. So um, my Rider Doc product right now, I'm writing hard for the Scandinavia Oil Control Primer Spray. I can spray my face and my face is primed. That's, that's holy grail for me. Love this stuff. Now, going to... Um, you, you, you've cleansed your face, you've prepped your face with your, with, your, with your cleanser, you've done all that, you've done your primer. Now, what I typically do after I've done all that, I then, I'm going in the steps that I use, that I, that I use the products, then I go and I do my eyebrows. So, so the two things that I use for my eyebrows are from ColourPop Cosmetics, and they are, they are brow pencils. I use Redhead, and I also use Brain Banging Brunette. These brow pencils are amazing. I love these eyebrow pencils um, for two re for several reasons. One, <laughs> one they have the very very fine um, pencil, the retractable pencil that I absolutely love. That you that that most people that like the uh, Mac uh, brow pencils, you will like the fact that the the the, the tip of um, the pencil is extremely thin. Um, so they have that as well as the spoolie on the end of the wand. That is, I, that, that little itty bitty thing sold it for me. It was having the little spoolie on the end of the wand. Cause sometimes I am a, a girl that happens to lose my little spoolies all, all over the place. I have disposable mascara wands all over the place. And so having that spoolie on the other opposite end of my brow pencil is genius. I love it. Um, and I know there's a few other brow pencils that do this. I know my ex has, and my ex has one. I know that uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills has one. But for me, I like the ColourPop one. Um, I like the colors in that, it, it, the color selection that they have in that one. And then I like the fact that it's extremely creamy. Um, it goes on very, very smooth. And the color payoff is extremely amazing. And the price point. So I think that the then I'm gonna go with the Mac ones because I work at Mac. I know exactly how the project with the with the cost of the ones at Mac. So the spiked, which is one of the most popular brow pencils at Mac, the spiked brow pencil is sixteen dollars. Okay, it doesn't have the brow, the little um, spoolie on the end of it. And sometimes when you go to apply this to your brows or to your client's brows, it breaks. This one doesn't do that. I think it's because it consists because the, the the because the formulation is a little bit more creamy. So sixteen dollars, I think this is six dollars. Get two of these for the price of one. So I absolutely love them. Price point is amazing. I ride hard for my ColourPop brow pencils. I use Redhead and Banging Brunette. Um, after I do my brows, I will typically prep my eyelids for. Eyeshadow. I mean, that's just what, that's what you do, right? So my ride or, ride or die, ride hard eyeshadow base. I got this. A long, I got one of these a long time ago in my um, Ipsy bag. I don't even have Ipsy anymore. My Ipsy bag. Um, and this is the Elizabeth Moth. Thank you. Thank me later. I, I eyeshadow primer. I use this on my. I use this as my primer as my base. Um, and then I go over that with my NYX jumbo eyeshadow pencil in the color milk um use those two together blend them out and then i'll set that with you know my translucent powder which typically is going to be my lemon skate or my banana powder um so that is what i use to uh as a base for my eyeshadows um one thing i did not mention um really quickly about my eyebrows uh, i have two two concealers that i typically use i will talk about the one that i'm use for my under my eyebrows to do the concealer trick first um, and that is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn. I like to use this one for my, to do the concealer trick under my eyebrows because as you can see this, the brush is very, it's flat. It goes on, I can go, put, it goes on, you probably can't see it because I don't have any product on there, but it goes on straight. I'm able to make the lines very, very crisp. So I like to use this, um, LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn or whatever color it, it works for you. Um. To do the concealer trick for under my eyebrows, I wanted to say that really quick. This is my—I have to have this, and I think it's only like two dollars. Like, how do you go wrong with a concealer that's two dollars? Um, staying with concealer, um, the concealer that is, I ride hard for. I got this about what is it? Two or three months ago, I think. Um, 
and this is the Morphe concealer and this is in the color Frappe. This concealer is so amazing. Now, all of my years in the beauty industry doing hair and makeup, um, my favorite by far, hands down, is this Morphe $4, $4 or $5, I think it was 4 or $5 concealer in the color Frappe. The, the consistency and the formulation in this um, concealer is absolutely amazing. Uh, I have very dark circles under my eyes due to the fact that I have really bad sinuses. Um, and I this gives me good color payoff. The consistency is very creamy. It doesn't sit in my fine lines. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have the, the, the creasing that I get in a lot of concealers. Um, this is my new best friend. Like, love, love, love this Morphe concealer. And I'm going to talk about my two go-to palettes. Um, first, I'm going to talk about the palette that I use that um, is like my, for fun, for color, for anything like that, I use um, Makeup Geek. My Makeup Geek uh, Ultimate Palette. I have her Ultimate Palette. I have the um, Spring Collection Palette that she had, as well as some uh, Ida in, Eyes and in Eyeshadows that I picked up at Fame Expo and um, IMAX. And I have a double-sided um, Z palette that I keep all of my Makeup Geek eyeshadows in. But by far, Makeup Geek, I use Makeup Geek eyeshadows for my fun colors, for any um, bold makeup look that I want to, to do, anything like that are my Makeup Geek eyeshadows. And what I, <coughs> what I love about Makeup Geek eyeshadows is, again, the price point is amazing. I think they're $6 for each little individual one as opposed to you know anywhere else. $16, $20, you know what I mean, for a single um, pan eyeshadow, you get these for this is six. Um, and the color payoff is, is, is amazing. The consistency, what I love about the Makeup Geek eyeshadows is you're able to go from, you're able to um, use it, and it's extremely creamy, extremely blendable. Like, it's amazing when, when you're using the Makeup Geek eyeshadows. But another thing that I love about the Makeup Geek eyeshadows is a lot of times when you're using a shimmer or a dual chrome, Something like that. You want to fix plus, put a fix some fix fix plus or some setting spray onto your um, brush to get more color payoff, and you know wipe that through your 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 eyeshadow to really pack that color into your eye into your eye. And sometimes your eyeshadow, if you if you wet the um, the brush and then put that wet brush into your um, eyeshadow, it'll stain your eyeshadow and leave a water spot. It doesn't do that. You're able to you're able to use a dry. You're able to use a wet. It does not leave any water spots on your eyeshadows, which messes, which messes up your eyeshadows. It's the formulation in these makeup geek eyeshadows are insane. Okay, like Marlena is my best friend. Okay, because I, I have not tried anything of makeup geeks that I have not fell in love with. Like I write hard for makeup geek. Um, my go to palette that I grab when I'm going to go to, you know, hang out at my mom's house. Like, like me and my husband and my baby uh, went to my mom's house for the weekend for Christmas. And, you know, it's like, okay, well, if I want to do my face, what am I, what am I going to, what am I going to put on? So it's, it's, by, by, it's just a habit. I, I, I automatically grab my um, Tarte's Times Makeup Shayla palette. Um, reason being, on your for everyday makeup, you're not going to want to wear you know all these colors and things like that. You want to be more 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 natural every day. So this is my go-to everyday um, palette, and I like it because it it comes with your um, your um, under your, your highlight area your highlight color, which is like your banana powders or your Sasha Buttercup powders. It has that. It has a highlight. It has a blush two contour colors and a um a frost or a highlight whatever you want to use it for i typically use this for a highlight use this for my brown bone um i can get so many everyday looks with this palette so this is my palette that i automatically grab when i'm going when i'm traveling if i'm going anywhere i grab this palette um so i absolutely love this palette the formulation of the colors is amazing um and then it's probably a s simple thing but the fact that the mirror doesn't like flop. Most mirrors like you know flop back and forth. If I put this mirror in a certain place, it stays. So a lot of times I will use this pal this this palette just for the mirror when I'm doing my tutorials because I can put it in a in a position to where I can see myself 
and talk to you guys and do my makeup at the same time for the tutorial. So a lot of times I'm going to use this palette just for the mirror in it when I'm doing my uh, tutorials. So I absolutely love, love, love this palette. Um, I'm going to go on next to like what I like to set my under eye area with when I'm doing my concealer um, and things like that. So I like to use a couple of different things, but what I um, found that I work, that works for me the absolute best is the um, beautiful radiance. Is it black radiance? I'm not beautiful radiance. Black radiance uh, pressed powder in the color butter pecan. This is absolutely like as you can see, I've hit pan on it. If you guys can see that, <laughs> um, yes, I've hit pan. If you guys can see that on on the, on this powder. This powder works for me. Um, it um, it's an oil it's a it's an oil free formula. It works for me. It's, um, it says match finish. Um, instead of using the like banana banana Sasha butter uh, Sasha uh, buttercup powder or the banana powder, which I will use, but I don't use it for baking. I just use the Sasha buttercup um, powder buttercup powder or the banana powder from Benign to set my concealer, and then what I use to bake. I use my black radiance buttercup, not buttercup, butter pecan uh, press powder to actually bake. It just works for the formulation of this just works for me. Um, it doesn't give me flashback or anything like that. I this is I write hard. I, I use this all the time. This is my my best friend. Um, so <laughs> I was on a search after I got this Tarches by Makeup Shayla palette. Uh, I was on a, I was on a hunt to find a contour the co a contour color that was the equivalent to the contour color. Hold on, let me show you. I was on a hunt to find a contour color that was either like this uh, the, this uh, one of one of the contour colors that are in this that are in this palette, preferably the darker one. But I want but when I run out of this palette and I don't have this contour color anymore, what am I going to do? Because I like this contour color. So I was on a hunt to try to find a contour color that was like that contour color in the Makeup Shayla palette. So I um, searched around, searched around, searched around, you know, played with some contour colors, and I found the Black Radiance Soft Focus Powder in the color um, Milk Chocolate. Milk Chocolate. Milk Chocolate. Um, to me, this is the equivalent to the darkest color in the Makeup Shayla palette. So I use this as well as my contour. Um, absolutely love, love, love um, this as my contour. I use this on a regular basis, like I said, as well as using my Tarte by Makeup Shayla palette. But I also use this, like I said, because when when this runs out, because it's limited edition, and I can't go get this again. This is this is limited edition, so it's like I did this. This is this is my uh, it's prized possession right here. This this Tarte by Makeup Shayla palette. It's like I have to, you know, I I, I use with care because I you know it's limited edition. <laughs> but this one I use more often because I can go Target, Target and get me some Black Radiance uh, Soft Focus in the color Milk Chocolate. You know, so I use it a lot more often, but it's, it reminds me of that color in the Makeup Shayla palette. Um, going on to my foundation. Um, for those of you guys that know, I am a diehard Kat Von D girl uh, to the core of my being. Still right hard for Kat Von D. Um, but here, I, I wanted to try some new foundations um, this year, um, so I decided to, I've always been a big fan of Black Opal. I use Black Opal in my makeup kit, um, but I never use it on my own face. So this year, uh, I think it was Jackie Ina who had said that she uses the Black Opal True Color Liquid Foundation. So I went out, found the Black Opal uh, True Color Liquid Foundation, found what color was worked for me, which is nutmeg, and um, this has become my ride or die liquid foundation i love 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 this stuff um the undertone in this is amazing for my skin um it's just uh absolutely it's gorgeous it just works for my skin complexion the undertones uh it's not it, it gives me a um semi matte finish so i have my natural glow to my skin that comes out um, it doesn't make me so mad to where you know, I don't have no shine on my face whatsoever. I don't like that. I don't like it to be so, so mad to where I don't have any natural glow to my skin. This is absolutely amazing. Formulation is amazing. I love, 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 and I write hard for this product. First of all, let's just recap. I like stick foundation probably better than any other foundation 
in my opinion, to me works better because with liquid foundation, sometimes when you, when you, you can do two pumps, three pumps or whatever, and sometimes you can not use all of the pumps that you used and just waste product. With this, you put it on your face, some stripes on your face, and you're not wasting product. Um, so I've always liked where I had a stick foundation more so than liquid foundation. Um, I used to use, uh, <laughs> about to tell my age, Lord Jesus, um, Fashion Fair. Y'all know Fashion Fair? Fashion Fair is an old school makeup brand, okay? Don't talk about me, okay? Tell them my age. <laughs> but I used to use Fashion Fair stick to foundation. Um, but back to the Hourglass Stick Foundation, I absolutely love, love, love this foundation. What I like about it for more, more, most of all, is that the color payoff is amazing. Um, it's very, very, very light. Even though you get full coverage, you can build up as medium to full coverage. Even though it's very, it's, 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 you can make it full coverage. It's very light, and it's called it's, it's called the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. Now, when I say van when it says vanish, it's it means van it's for real vanish. It blends and melts into your skin like butter. Love this stuff. It is amazing. Uh, I don't like wearing foundation that feels like I have on 10 tons of foundation. That's another reason why I like the Black Opal um, True Color Foundation. It doesn't feel like I have on 10 tons of makeup. This one, by far, is feels the most natural and the most comfortable um, to me as far as foundation. Very, very, very nice. The undertone is very nice. They have a lot of color selection for us brown girls. And it blends in completely into my skin. Can you see that? All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, absolutely love. Right heart for my Hourglass Foundation. Favorite mascara. I think I've said this a few times in previous videos. But if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> is the uh, MAC Mineralized uh, mascara in color black. Um, I like, like I said, it's it gonna, it gonna give me volume. I like the brush. You guys can see that. I like the brush. It's gonna give me volume. It's gonna, uh, more so, I want volume than I do length. Um, and it really just coats my eyelashes. I like the brush. The brush is amazing. I don't like the little, um, I don't like those rubber plastic brushes. So the fact that there's actually an actual bristle brush, I love that about it. This is my. I, right, I've been using that uh, mascara for years. So, right hard for that. That's that's a staple. That's gonna stay just like it is. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go over a couple of lipsticks that are my ride or die. Um, first, I'm gonna go over my neutral. So the neutral. Um, these are neither are they are all Mac lipsticks. My neutral is um, Mac Touch. You guys can see that. That is my go-to neutral. I love, love, love this. And it's not a matte. It's a luster. So it kind of gives me a little, gives me like that satin finish. Absolutely love, love, love that um, neutral. My uh, go-to red lip is, um, it is it's a matte color. And that is in Ruby Woo. I don't know anybody that does not like Ruby Woo. Ruby Woo, ride hard for that. That's my go-to red. Um. And then I also, I like really deep, vampy lips. For those of you guys that don't know that, I love a deep, vampy lip. Um, they came out with a color called Deep Love. And it's also a matte. It's like a burgundy plum color. And I write hard for this lipstick as well. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Um, um, <clears throat> next I want to go to my blushes. Um, for those of you guys that have been watching me for a long, long time, know that my go-to ride hard favorite um, a blush is NYX Cinnamon. I use this almost in every tutorial. Love, love, love this color. Orange just looks really good on my skin. So I love, 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 absolutely love this blush. But I have a new favorite too. Um, like I said, I love everything Makeup Geek has. Makeup Geek has this color. It's a chivalry. And it's like a red brown, super pretty, absolutely gorgeous. It has a little bit of a, a, a frost undertone to it, 
um, has a little bit of shimmer to it. I absolutely love this. So if I'm not using cinnamon, I'm using chivalry. And it's just, this just works. It's your favorites. My go-to um, liner, by far, hands down, is my Inglot Gel Liner in the color 77, which is just pitch black, which is just pitch black. Pitch black, really, Tiffany, pitch black. Black. Absolutely love. Right hard for this. Um, absolutely best gel liner ever. Like on a planet. Just ever. Best gel liner ever. Love it. Um, also, if you are, if you have, if you like using gel liner, any kind of gel product, your little eyebrow pomades, anything like that for your eyebrows, for your eyeliners, whatever, anything that's creamy, if you do not have the Inglot Duraline, I don't know what you're doing. Like, where you been? Like, where you sleeping? Like, you, you sleep, you're sleeping on your pimper because this is the absolute most amazing thing ever. When, whatever, whenever I do eyeliner or whenever I'm doing using the eyebrow pomades for my eyebrows, my client's eyebrows, whatever the case may be, I all, I, I keep this um, Inglot Dural Line by far, hands down. It's, it's I have to have it. Take this, put one drop of it into your cream product, and it just revitalizes it. So if it's dry, if you have a product that's dry, and you don't, you don't know what you're going to do, you think you have to throw it away because it's just, it's just so dry, try going to get you some. It's $15. It's $15. Go spend $15, get you some uh, Dural Line, put it in your product that's your cream product that's dry, and it should revitalize it. If it doesn't, I will be shocked, okay? Um, somebody asked me on Instagram if, you, if I thought that you could use this on dried up mascara. I don't see why not, but I don't know for sure, so don't quote me on that. But, yes, draw a line. Favorite pressed powder by far, because like I said, it gives me a natural finish. It um, It's a semi-matte, not super matte. It gives me a skin-like finish. It is my mineral MAC Mineralized Skin Finish of the color Dark Tan. Um, love, like, okay. Um, this is my color, so if you happen to be a brown girl or a caramel girl like myself, this might work for you. And if you guys cannot find dark tan, you guys can also use Give Me Sun. So, <laughs> I think that that is it, guys. Yes, that's it. I don't have anything else to say. So, that, that is my ride or die product like that I have to have for me. Um, but until next time, be blessed, you guys.